Hello, I blew it. I do know how to request a book for physical reserves. It's not something that I'd done in a while, so I apologize for um, the email chain. And I'll send this to the, the other person CC'd on our message um, to apologize. Hopefully they'll get this before they, they start sending an answer. So from a Canvas course is the only way to put something on physical reserves right now, I think, um, especially with Omicron going on. So if you don't have your course on Canvas, let me know. Um, there must be some workaround. Um, from Canvas, though, to put something on physical reserves is not intuitive. So I'm going to make a step-by-step -step here. So when you're in Canvas, you've got this menu on the left-hand side. Um, one thing that you should look for is course, um, oh, what is it called? Course something or other. <laughs> Let's go find it. It's the end of the day and I've lost my vocabulary. If you, um, if you click on settings, I don't know if you, if you have to do this course by course or if it automatically shows up once you've done it with one course. Um, if you scroll up to the top, there's something... Um, a navigation tab. And at the bottom of that will be a list of things that you can add. So all of these menu items are things that show up right here. And all the things down here are ones that you could add. One of them, course materials, that's what it was called. I sound so credible that it takes me two minutes to get the answer to something. Uh, but what you do is click on these little three dots and then click enable Here's the worst part, is I tried this several times and it wouldn't work. Um, you have to go down and click on save. Why they don't have that at the top when they send you the top is something I imagine they get to work out later, the good folks at Canvas. Once you've hit save though, down this left-hand menu, course materials should show up. That's where we can add that book. How do we do that? Click on Course Materials. You're in the course. So the name of the course, your name, all that other stuff is going to automatically appear and be populated. And so what you do is from within the course, everything you request will be available to your students to see. It didn't take this long last time. Okay. And what you can do is you can look up the item in the library catalog through this little interface. It's wanting me to make a new section. And this is where it will land in a section that your students can see. When you click on new section, you can say reserve readings or, or whatever. You can call it whatever you want. And you can put a description in there. That's between you and your students to see. Uh, but the date here is the important one. So you can type in the date or you can use the calendar. I'm going to put in today, just to be cheeky. Um, and then the end date, you can have that be the end of the semester, which I'm not quite sure when that is, so I'm just going to put it May 28th. So whatever the dates. Um, and you can, all, if you click on this, then that like cancels something before the end of the course. I would say you just leave that open and everyone can see it. When you click on create, this creates the vessel that the, um, the reading will live in. And then um, you just click on Add Item and you search for that book. I'm going to move my head. You look for that book. And what I'm going to do is just copy this. So I had an, another tab open with the, the actual book itself. And then I could just paste that in and this search is pretty good. The one that I wanted is right there. And you click on that. And then you say, I want it to go to the, the readings list or whatever. If you have multiple ones, it would let you choose. And when you click on add, it's gonna say, well, what do you want us to do with it? And then this is where you could say, Add physical book to open reserve, loan period. And you can say, oh, I want to be able to check out for this time, this time, this time, depending on what your student needs are. Also, if you want me to buy another copy or even two more copies, I am happy to do so. 
So if the students end up using it quite a bit, that might be one way around it. Another thing we can do is digitize up to one chapter. I don't know if you can do both, but I kind of feel like you can. So if you wanted to put one chapter up online and then the physical book there for the rest of the time, um, that works. Um, you get one chapter per semester. Another strategy that we've done, if you only have three chapters to read, we do have three versions of this. Um, there's the 2002, 2005, and then I wonder if that's the original. Maybe it's a 1999. Looks like there's other versions. So copyright follows for that edited version. So sixth edition, you can grab a chapter. Fifth edition, you can grab a chapter. Third edition, you can grab a chapter, if that makes sense, if you want to make it available. I can help you strategize through that if you want to do that. But otherwise, um, putting it on um, that, that physical item is just finding that one, clicking add, and then saying add physical book and how long you want to do that, and you click confirm. And there, that book is right there. When you're ready to go, all you do is click on library review, then it goes to the person that um, I emailed on this and hopefully they're forgiving me now um, for creating this video. Do let me know how it goes and if you want help with anything. Um, I admit this is a bit of a hassle, but it's very convenient during the time of, of global pandemic because it allows us to function um, at a distance. So thank you for tolerating um, and being patient with me and I'll 